Seamus, maybe after a rough start to the year, you know, you ended up coming out of Munster, which is great for Cork. It's hard to know where you are at the moment, though. Ah, yeah, I suppose. Look, uh, John said us, you know, the initial objective of qualifying out of the Munster round robin series. So, yeah, as you said, you hit the nail on the head there. You know, it was a tough initial, you know, defeat to, to Prairie and it was a tough one to swallow. But, look, as I said, the beauty of the, the round robin series is, you know, you fight for six days, you know, to wreck the fight and the Limerick game couldn't have came quick enough. So, look, we were just we we're just happy now we qualified, you know, out of Munster. Obviously, you always want to get to the final and you always want to be part of that. But, um, look, the objective is achieved when the all Ireland series now and, you know, um, good win against uh, Westmead last Sunday. So look, all roads lead to Croker now this Sunday. So certainly looking forward to it. Was it hard to pick yourselves back up after the Munster Championship heading into that game? Ah, not at all. Look, um, we knew we our, our next objective was against you know the the Joe McDonough runners up. So we had to take that in our stride as well. Look, as uh, uh, we were under no illusions. You know, we saw at least did the Dublin. We didn't want to be on a similar side of a result. So. Um, no, it was uh, something to look forward to. As I said, obviously the number one objective was to to get to a Munster final, but uh, you know, you've no time to lick your wounds just straight back in. So looking forward now to a quarter final this Sunday. You don't really have an easy road, do you? You're facing uh, Kilkenny on Sunday, who will be hurt in the Leinster Championship. Of course, look, you're always expecting a backlash, and you know what you're going to get with Kilkenny. You know it's going to be a good game of hurling. It, you know, it's whoever works the hardest and and leaves it out in the pitch. But um, look, these are the days you play hurling for quarterfinals in in Crow Park you know nothing's going to be easy anyway so just look it's an opportunity for for all the lads and for both teams so um, these these are the days we play hurling for so certainly looking forward to it How is all in the Cork camp is there any big injuries? I know look uh, we have a fairly clean bill of health alright Aidan Walsh is a small bit of a doubt uh, he, he has a finger injury so look he, he's striving to get back as well and, and hopefully he will be right but um, no we're, we're very lucky to have a clean bill of health I suppose coming out of that Munster Championship, it didn't do any Limerick any harm last year coming through in third spot. Uh, what did you learn from the defeats in the Munster Championship this year? Yeah, I suppose um, as you hit the nail on the head there, you know, Limerick came through that route last year, you know, albeit there's a lot of games, but, you know, it, it certainly is achievable. Um, uh, learning from the Munster Championship, you know, um, we just had to get a few things right, you know, there was a few mistakes that we made, you know, that were glaringly obvious in the Tipperary game. I think lads had to look within themselves as well, you know, a lot of lads didn't perform the day. And they just had to do a bit of soul searching and see why that wasn't. But look, as I said, the the five six day turnaround, you know, couldn't come couldn't come fast enough. And you know, thankfully, look, we we got out of Munster, but yeah, we certainly had to to look back and analyse the games and take the learnings from them. I suppose one thing from last year, from Limerick last year as well, is that the players said that because they had games week after week after week, they didn't really have time to kind of lick their wounds or feel sorry for themselves. Exactly, it comes around so fast, and I suppose look, this year we're lucky. We're after you know blooding a lot of players, and you know the the strength in the squad is definitely you know it has improved and. And you know, we 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 were under no illusions. You know, when you're playing week after week, you're going to use 15, 20, 25 players. So that's something that was addressed in fair play to John. The management they've done that. You you mentioned Limerick there. I suppose Limerick would be the template that the Cork are trying to emulate in terms of a performance, and and that you've you've tried to play like that in in other games, but. Limerick is definitely the highlight, and that's what you're looking for. Ah, look, yeah, that that was a, a high performing game for us, you know, and that's something that you have to look to to replicate time and time again. But um, as you said, they're 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 looking very strong, you know. It, everyone that's left left in it, you know, you know, everyone has a right, you know, and and things they can they can get to the desired outcome of of winning Lee McCarthy. So, you know, every game in itself now, and you know, all roads just are focused towards Sunday now. So, look, it's a great opportunity for everyone. What did Cork take from the Westmead game? Um, look again. Um, like you, you can only perform as best as you can do. And you know, we had some lads came off the bench there. You had Robbie O'Flynn and, and Shane Kingston. You know, got his start. Lahan was back into the team after an injury. So you know, them lads stepped up big time. You know, and there will be there will be bigger challenges along the road. So these guys will be needed, and and that was very you know encouraging. Um, you couldn't have got a, a, get a bigger game for a quarter final Kilkenny and Cork with the tradition and all that and Kilkenny want to bounce back from a Leinster final defeat and, and Cork want to show that they can perform in Crow Park Absolutely you know you know what you're going to get with Kilkenny you know in fairness they're, they're a very honest bunch and hard working team they've got skill to boot as well you know when you have players like the calibre of TJ Reid and Killian Buckley you know and Murphy I could go on you know um, you know they pose a serious threat for any opposition they come across this year. So, look, you're just going to have to be ready and prepare as best as we as best as we can ourselves. And uh, yeah, and that's about it. You know, it's going to be uh, us ourselves as Cork. You know, it'll be all about delivering our best performance, and hopefully, hopefully that will be enough.